Hello, welcome to check it out with Rich. Um, we've been wanting to change out our uh, faucets and hardware to black. As you can see, we already changed out the poles on the cabinets and the drawers. Uh, we also changed out the shower faucet and the shower wand. So Becky was looking on Amazon during Prime and she got this. Um, it's a little higher See if you can see that yeah it's a little higher than the other one which is nice this one's a little too close i really don't care for it the only thing different besides that is it's this way about a half inch three quarter inch difference which i don't think is going to be a big deal so we're going to get this installed get this back here uh the tools you're going to need you're going to need a screwdriver a pair of channel locks, a 5 8 wrench, and a 13 millimeter wrench. Okay, so let's go uh, underneath and uh, we'll get the old one out. Okay, Alliance likes to uh, make life easy on you. So they actually put valves here to turn them off. They're at each uh, fixture. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a little bit of uh, paper towel down here. Uh, I already have the valves off. And all you gotta do, put that 13 millimeter wrench on here and turn this off. I, I already loosened them up, so it's uh, that's what the channel locks are for, just in case. So let's get this one out, and that's it for that. Okay, now there's a nut on the bottom of this with two screws on it. Hopefully I'm not blocking anything. Get my shaky hands in there. And you just loosen these two screws up. These screws is what actually tightens everything down. And you loosen those two up. And then you loosen up the nut. Take that all the way off. And then you want to remove one at a time to get through this nut. And that's it. So let's go back up top and Yank it on out. Okay, so we want to uh, yank this up out of here. You're going to have to do one supply line at a time. And that's it. I had this out before when I turned it. And when I put it back in, I used uh, plumber's putty. So I'm just going to clean this up here real quick. Okay. So on this one, we want to take the nut off. And this is the same thing. You got to try to get one out at a time. Sometimes it's uh, easier. This one has four lines in it. So let's try this one first. Okay, there we go. Okay. And then you have your washer and gasket. Okay, this has a little bit of a washer on here, but I'm still going to go and uh, put some pl plumber's putty on it. It's not going to hurt. Okay, let's get these hoses down in there. I think it's going to look nice.
All right, let's go underneath and uh, get this all connected back up and secured. Okay, we're going to fit these on. Make sure your rubber gasket goes on first, then your stainless steel washer, and then the uh, your nut with the two set screws. Back your set screws out so they're flush, and we'll put that on. And then we got to feed the other ones through. Problem is there's one up there that we got to get first. And they're not going to make it easy. Okay. Now we got to feed this last supply line down through here. There we go. Make sure it's not kinked. Okay. So now we want to start the nut. Okay, this part tightening it up will probably be easier with Becky. I'm going to try to do it, but if uh, I can't get it, we'll wait for her to get back, and then we'll tighten that up. Okay, I think we're pretty good, so we're going to go ahead and tighten these set screws up. Yeah, make sure these are good and tight. This is actually what's pulling everything together. Okay. So next we want to hook this black line up. And that'll scoot right in here. And you hear the click, you're good. Okay, let's move over to the supply lines. Okay, these hook up differently. I had to go to uh, Lowe's and get uh, two fittings. I needed a half inch MPT to a three eighths compression. These things were 10 bucks each. That is nuts. So we're gonna put one in here. And we're just going to hand tighten it as tight as we can get it. We don't want to use a wrench on that. Uh, if you go too tight, you'll end up cracking this plastic. And we'll do the same with this one. Then after we turn it on, we'll uh, see if it leaks. If it does, maybe we'll give it just a little more with a wrench, not very much. And if it still leaks, we'll put some Teflon tape on it. Okay, next we want to take the supply lines and put them on. And then a 5 8 wrench just to snug her down. You don't have to go super tight. Okay, let's try that. Let's get the hot, which it is hot in here. It's about 95. I should have turned the AC on as soon as I got home from work, but wasn't thinking. Okay, let's get this one done. Okay. Okay, last piece is the weight. So we gotta take this weight apart and then on the black hose, they have a piece of tape on there for where you're supposed to put it. 
Should have had this apart already, but should have did a lot of things. Like turn the AC on, it wouldn't be 95 in here right now. Okay, so we're just going to see if we can get this in the camera. Okay, we're just going to put this on there. Make sure I get the ends right. Okay, put that on there right where that tape goes. Now, the bad thing about these are um, you got to watch what you put underneath the sink. So I'll have to let Becky know not just to throw uh, anything under the sink. I don't think we're going. I know, it's, it's hard to see what I'm doing here. So we're just, there's a screw on opposing sides. So we're just going to tighten them down. Let me get the other one in. Get this AC going as soon as I'm done filming. Okay, and you want to tighten them down all the way. Okay, so we should be done. Let me get the tools out of here. Okay, the faucet is off. We're going to turn the, uh, move this down a little bit. We're going to turn the uh, valves on. Check for leaks. And so far, it looks good. Um, I'll check it our first few trips just to make sure. But uh, it should be all right. All right, let's go topside. Okay, you probably can't see it, but uh, the the plumber's putty uh, squeezed out pretty good around here. So that is uh, that is what you want. What I usually do, once I take this off, As long as it's not dirty, it is reusable. Okay. Looks pretty good from that view. Okay, nothing leaking. That's working good. All right, let's go for the hot side. Let me turn the pump on. Okay, hot's working. Cold's working, check for leaks. Okay, it's looking good. What I'm gonna do, we're, we're leaving tomorrow after work. I'm gonna lay some paper towel down around where uh, those fittings are. And then when we get to where we're going, we'll, uh, I'll check the paper towel, see if there's any moisture on it. I do have to say this, this sprayer is a little more powerful than uh, the other one. getting water all over yeah this is this is pretty good yep I like it okay that does swivel okay we're good all right it, it looks straight <laughs> all right so that was pretty easy. The hard part was climbing under there when it's 95 and trying to look above my bifocals to get the screwdriver onto the screw. Someday I'd like to get a pair of glasses that has the uh, bifocals on top. They do make them. Um, so easy modification and it's blending pretty good. The last thing we have to do is the bathroom faucet and I want to change the uh, lock set on the pantry door. And I think that's it. So, all right. So once again, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you all next time. Bye.